Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here in Passage. It's been such a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. Today, we're going to be checking out some PS freebies with the PS Plus games for March 2018. Now, uh, to top off at the very beginning of all of this, I want to say that the PlayStation uh, PS Plus have announced that they will be no longer supporting PS3 and PlayStation Vita titles from March 2019 onwards. A few people have been misunderstanding what they've said about it, saying March uh, that they're going to stop doing PS3 and PS Vita. That's March of next year. So we've got 12 months left of getting PS3 goodness. And uh, to be honest, I don't know if there's any titles or many titles left that actually need to be actually added in for us to enjoy for the PS3. If you hadn't got them at this point, uh, they haven't really been releasing that many for the last few well. So hopefully we'll get some absolutely stellar titles over the next 12 months that kind of like finally top off the experience for the PS3 and PS Vita, which of course people have considered to be a bit of a death for the PS Vita, which had been in long progression towards us for a while. But, end of the bad news. Time for the good news. Because for the, this month in PlayStation Plus, we've got on EU and American servers, we have Bloodborne, Ratchet and & Clank, and I can't even remember what the third title is because the first two were that important. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Bloodborne, one of the biggest titles exclusive to the PlayStation, is getting given away for free this month. And because of it, uh, there's going to be a very similar title on PlayStation Plus Asia as well. But what we're going to sit down and look at right now is the list of games because it's a little bit different because they've already done Ratchet and Clank, they did that back in December, so we've got something new to see instead. The PlayStation Plus March lineup for PlayStation Asia is Bloodborne, as I explained. <laughs> We're obviously going to be getting the same title, but with a PlayStation Asia copy, uh, it means I'm going to have two, and I wouldn't mind actually sharing that with a friend of mine, so he says you can log into my account. The Guaru Mark of the Wolves. Good choice is actually one of the classic SNK games. A lot of people are going to have a problem with that just because it's an older title, but goddamn, I do love Waru. It's a great fighting game. And Bombing Busters, which pretty much looks like a Dino Blaster Bomberman clone, but this will be really fun to play multiplayer. I highly recommend checking it out and getting a hold of it for yourself just to play it. But the big thing is, if it isn't Bomberman exactly, where it actually doesn't have all the bonuses, you know, like the, the kick ability, the punch ability, lift up bombs. Uh, revenge Bomber in multiplayer mode and some interesting bombing levels for multiplayer. It's not going to do that well, in my opinion, but I'm looking forward to playing it with you guys on PlayStation Plus. One little thing to actually say about PlayStation Plus this month, uh, they have just announced they're doing 25% off for a year subscription. I suppose that's going to get a lot of people's attention because of Bloodborne being a title this month coming out on the 5th of March. Um, with the quick reminder that the PlayStation Plus Asia games don't come out for... A few days afterwards, I think it's like the 8th or 9th, maybe, uh, as far as I remember. They usually do it like on the Thursday of the week rather than actually the Tuesday of the week, like the EU and American ones do. So we've got those to look forward to very, very soon. If you haven't actually got PS Plus already, I highly recommend it for at least PlayStation Asia because the titles they have there are magnifique. So how, well, I'm not really thinking of anything else to actually say here other than, guys, thank you very much for watching. You got to see what the titles are. Have you got any opinions on the titles that have been given for PlayStation Plus this month? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Yeah, think that they've actually kind of uh, screwed themselves over because really in the end up, if you think this is bad, watch the video sometime I'm about to put up on PlayStation Plus in Japan because the titles have not been impressive in that country. We've been getting a pretty good deal of it for the last year and a half, two years at least, and well, uh, well I'll, I'll list all the problems with PlayStation Japan or PlayS Plus Japan in another video. If you haven't been watching this on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Uh, there will be a box above me that'll actually have a playlist. Over on the far side this way will actually be the most recent video on the channel. Over here will be a video just for you based on the YouTube analytics and the things that you choose on YouTube. Hope you actually check that out and enjoy it. And if you haven't been watching this on any platform that has a sticky button that you can hit for subscribe, follow, like, dislike, or whatever it is, throw a comment underneath, tell me what you think, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.